What up? Hello. So I've been digging through Craigslist <clears throat> and Indeed looking for a J-O-B. And um, so I don't know. All I know is food. So I'm like looking every day like, oh, I should find a waitressing job because that's the vision. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, I'm just closing off this whole other world that I know nothing about. Like, I couldn't even tell you another job outside of the food industry. So I was digging through, um, what was it? You know, like when you go to Craigslist and they click on jobs and it says like all the categories or you can just click on all and then just see yeah. every, every option that's out there. I keep seeing truck driving and I'm like, dude, I should <laughs> become a fucking trucker. I disagree. Dude, I don't like driving. It doesn't make any sense. I live in a fantasy world where every there's certain things that just sound like I don't know. It just fulfills a an idea in my head. I'm not really sure, but think about it: the open road, <laughs> some fresh air, your arms hanging out at the side of a truck. You're like you don't give a fuck. You're a trucker, right? Not into this vision. Dude, mm. we could be a truck truck driving team. I'll drive, you can play with the radio, you can be the DJ, and then the sky is the limit. I mean, you have a job, you don't need my, you have a real job, you don't need my <laughs> truck driving <laughs> fantasy, you don't need a fake job. Um, so I was like, okay, let's just think about becoming a truck driver. And the person I was picturing wasn't really me, I don't know who I was, some, I was picturing someone who loves driving, and <laughs> someone who was excited about the open road. I was thinking like, I don't like driving. Oh, I was thinking how when I was 15, I was like, I'm driving, right? Like this is happening. Mm -hmm. So I got whatever the driver's permit. Like I I spent 300 bucks at <clears throat> Sears driving school. You know what I'm talking about? No. Did your dad teach familiar. you? Yeah. For free? Yeah. How did he teach you? Was he just like, was he, was he patient and calm? Um, there wasn't a whole lot of teaching. He was just like, I'll sign this. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Good luck. Um, so, yes. So, I took driving school and I got a, perm a permit at 15 and then I got a car. It was like a Ford. It was like an old school Ford car. I can't, I, who knows what year. And it was like either 700 bucks or like 1200 bucks. Like it was a super cheap car. And it had like this issue with the steering wheel. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, well, like it doesn't work? Maybe it was like some sort of alignment issue, but it just, yeah, it has to be alignment. Like at the time it just seemed like, all right, you have to really take control of the wheel or you're not going to go where you want to go. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I mean, our car doesn't really ride straight. No, our car is totally fine. I'm talking about this is like a death mobile. Okay. Okay. So I have this death mobile <laughs> and my rowdy friend who came in town, like, what was that, like two weeks ago or whatever, me and her, we were 15. Mm -hmm. She's spending the night. So we're hanging out at my pla my parents' place and... um. And our, and our third rowdy friend calls and is like, and she, I don't know, is maybe 15, maybe 14, I don't know. She calls and she's like, she had this boyfriend she was obsessed with. Like, they had, like, one of those crazy youthful relationships pretty early. Mm -hmm. So she was like, oh, oh, so she always was trying to, like, take the bus to his city, like, to the next city over. She's just always all like every like every mission was like how can we go see homeboy okay so so me and the rowdy friend are spending the night and then third rowdy friend calls up and says hey can i borrow your car right this this <laughs> this car i just fucking got that i don't even know if i drove it much she's like hey can i borrow your car can i sneak out of my parents house sneak over to your house sneak your car away from you can can we just do all this like wrong and illegal shit on your dime and i was like yes yes you can oh but i remember i was like turned to my friend and i was like hey so and so wants to take my car and we just were like maybe she can go get us some drinks from 7-eleven first so we were like all right you can take the car 
but drive this car to 7-Eleven, go get us some drinks. I, I recall we asked for a VHS or a DVD. I recall <laughs> there was some sort of movie we're feeling nostalgic for. We're like, hey, go find this thing, and if you can't, that's fine. So can, do we see where this story's going? Trucker. Okay. So I, I remember her coming over, <laughs> like she snuck over, and it's late at night, and I'm giving her the keys to my car, and I know that she's a youth and does not have much driving experience, if any at all. She might have zero. I don't know. I know that this is not the right thing to do, but I'm also like, fuck it, you know? I don't know. It just felt exciting and thrilling to just go along with someone's bullshit. So, so I give her the keys, and I explain that... uh you know, like the steering wheel's all fucked. Like, be careful. Like, don't do anything <laughs> rowdy. I get you're a rowdy motherfucker. Just tone it down when you're driving this car because <laughs> because we all see where this story's going. Okay, so at some po- it seems like she's gone forever. Mm-hmm. And uh, me and my friend are just kind of very humored with the situation. Like, I don't know. It just seemed very like, of course she's going to get in a wreck. I don't know. It just seemed very silly. <laughs> like, it just seemed like this is too reckless to not be full of wreck. Okay. A million hours go by, or so it seems. And then finally we get a tap at the at the window that our drinks are out front. We're like, okay, good. As long as you got this drink situation, good luck with the rest, right? I, I bid you farewell. So we don't see her after that. She drops off the drinks. She takes off. And at the time, you know, yeah, the the boyfriend lived in the next city over. But now that I'm an adult and I see how far away that is, especially at that hour when there's no traffic, it's a short ass fucking drive. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, how far away would that be? Like, 15 minutes? I don't know. It's a short fucking drive. Okay. Sorry. I'll calm down. So it seemed like forever. No concept of time. No concept of time, forever later, I get a phone call from her and she sounds mega pissed, right? Because Mm -hmm. she smashed the car, right? And when she said she's, when she said she smashed it, I turned to my friend and I was like, dude, she wrecked the car. We died laughing. It was so hilarious. (laughs) It shouldn't be hilarious. It's fucking awful. I mean, she was obviously fine, but the car wasn't fine. And the second I just started laughing, she really lost her shit. She was mega pissed. And she was just like, I don't know. I'm not really sure what what was all going on. I was kind of in my own world having a a gay old time about the wreck or whatever. Definitely was not laughing at her being in a wreck. I was laughing at the car being smashed and her just getting the (laughs) keys and just destroying someone else's car. Okay. So... She says it's smashed. We're dying laughing. She has no time for my bullshit show. So she hangs up on me. Essentially, she says that she's like completing the journey. She's abandoning the car. She's (laughs) calling a cab and she's completing the journey. She has to get to boyfriends. There's no time to worry about my bullshit. So it's, I don't know. It was very comedic. Do you see, does that sound dumb to laugh? It's, I mean, it does sound dumb to laugh at that, but what do you think? It's interesting that you would laugh at that. I don't know if I'd laugh at that now. I'm a fucking adult. Like, <laughs> property is expensive. Um, you know, i got to get to work. But at the time, you know, I really had nothing to lose. I mean, because I'd gone so long without a car. I don't know. Okay. There's some something was funny about it. Cannot explain it. It must be youth. I see. So, so we laugh. And it was hilarious that the journey goes on, that she was just, like, abandoning the car. Like, I don't know. It's okay. So, the next morning, we get up. And now we have to contend with the fact that there is no car in front of my parents' house that is my car. Like, how am I going to explain this? Like, this is all bad, right? Now, shit's going down. My dad doesn't play around. Like, he has no tolerance for some bullshit. He has a thick zero tolerance, you know, vibe. So we get up early and we start hiking our ass. Like, she kind of said the area that the car would be. We took, like, 
uh, we just walked and walked and walked and we were like at one point we were like on the side of the freeway Mm. and then we just you know once you get on the side of the free like there's not an exit like you have to walk till the end till you get to the exit so that you can turn so we're walking around and uh her mom pulls up like because we like should be home like her mom should pay oh, who knows like her mom pulls up and her mom's a very quiet nice lady soft-spoken mm-hmm. would laugh with her mouth closed very sweet woman and she pulls up and she sees us walking around and she was mega pissed she was like get your ass in the car kind of thing you know what i'm talking about mm-hmm. so pissed mom okay so we didn't find the car <laughs> And then, um, I don't remember if my parents found it or if I was with them. I don't know, but essentially I ended up seeing it or maybe I just imagined it from what I was told. But, um, you know, like that industrial street, um, over by Waffle House. Yeah. She like smashed it on, what do you call that? Like the median? Mm. And took out like a little tree, like a tiny little tree or whatever. <laughs> and uh, and it was just like left there overnight in the middle of the street. So that was that. Was that. I don't really know where this is going. I, I wonder if I got in trouble. I feel like, I don't know. Maybe I was always in trouble. I'm not really sure. Well, I didn't have a car after that <laughs> for a long ass. I don't know if I, okay, moving along. So... So in this fantasy of like becoming a truck driver, I remember that I don't like driving. I mean, I I don't mind like casual driving, but I don't like serious driving. I don't like driving where it's like, you know, like you have to like commute. Like I'm not into all that. And so then I thought about being a youth and being like gung ho for a car and then, and I don't know, self-sabotage. So you like casual truck driving. Maybe that's an option. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Peace.